Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, I'm gonna do a little diff uh, a video that's a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to set up and configure your Link G4 Plus plug and play ECU for the Toyota MR2. Uh, it's pretty easy, um, but I haven't found a video online that actually shows you how to do this. Uh, so I figured I would do it. Why not? Um, so there's a couple things you need before you even connect your ECU uh, to your computer. And if you need any uh, help connecting that ECU or plugging it up or, or whatever you need to do, uh, check my previous video uh, and you'll be able to uh, see how to do that. I did uh, plug it in and install it and everything and it works great. Anyway, uh, there's a couple things you need first. First you need to get the PC Link software. So you can just go to Link. Uh, links website. I'll put the link in the description, um, but you just need to navigate here uh, and download their software. This is a software that allows you to make any changes to your map. Uh, your tuner will use this software. It's great. Um, just navigate there, get the latest release, which is this one here. Download it, install it, put all the drivers in, let the installation run uh, completely, uh, which I'm not going to do because I already have it. Um, but once you finish that, you should have the software here. It's called PC Link. So uh, you'll go ahead and open this up. And let me just give you a quick rundown on how to load up a map because all maps are not, the maps aren't stored in the ECU per se. Uh, they are completely available to you. All the base maps are available to you from Link in this software. Uh, so you open it um, and then navigate down to the Stalic area uh, in, in the map. Uh, if you have a Gen 2, it's a ST-185. If you have a Gen 3, it's the ST-205. We'll open the Gen 2 map for now. Get that open. And yeah, so um, this is like the main screens that you have. Um, this is something that I created or am creating. Um, but you'll use these sc this screen here. Um, and there's a couple things you need to do. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, calibrate your TPS and your map sensor. This is super easy. Um, before you do that, you want to make sure that you have the correct map sensor configured. So if you're like me and you added a 4 bar map sensor, you're going to have to change this in the, uh, in the base map. Um, so type map into the ECU settings area here and you'll get this AN Volt 3 map sensor. That's just showing you what the input is for the, uh, the the map sensor import rather. Um, then you'll go over here and you'll see the map sensor type. Double click on this to open up a drop down menu. Uh, if you're using the Gen 2 map sensor, cool, click that. Uh, if for some reason you're using um, the Gen 3 map sensor, cool, click this. Um, but if you're like me with the 4 bar map sensor or any other, the, any other map sensor, you're going to want to click here so that it's configured. I'll click OK and then you'll have to get ready to calibrate. So I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you what's necessary to calibrate your map sensor. All right, let's uh, get ourselves situated in the car so that we can just quickly show you guys how to get everything set up. Ignore the fact that my ECU is kind of just laying in here. Uh, but this cable that you'll have atta uh, attached inside the ECU and had come out will attach to the USB cable um, with this little connection here. All right, so once you get into your car, uh, before you power your, your, uh, your ECU up and your car up, go ahead and plug your ECU in with your cable. Uh, there it is. So now that it's plugged in, you should hear a beep. Uh, maybe you'll have to um, uh, let drivers install, uh, maybe not. Um, but then you're gonna run, go ahead and power up your car. Just turn the key on to accessory. Do not try and start the car. Uh, so now it's started up, started up uh, or powered on rather. You hear the annoying MR2 beep. All right, now that you've got your car powered up, you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect the ECU. Just double click here. Uh, it will connect. Um, you will, if this is your first time uh, like connecting your ECU, you will probably get 
something that you need to unlock your ECU, it'll pop up automatically. Um, I'm not going to unlock mine, obviously, but you will just simply enter the unlock code that was provided with your ECU. Uh, if you don't have that, go ahead and contact your ECU provider and they can provide it for you. Um, this is so you can do anything. You won't be able to do anything really uh, with your ECU if this is not unlocked. Anyway, um, once you've gotten that done, just go ahead and go to EC controls and your TPS setup. This is super easy. Just follow the directions. Fully to on. Hit OK. And let off. Hit OK. Wow, look at that. It's calibrated. Uh, next, once you make sure you want to make sure that you have the uh, correct map sensor uh, selected, go to map sensor calibration and then say yes. And that's it. It's super easy. Anyone can do this. Um, this is just a little little snippet of the power of this software. I do not recommend you go messing around in the software if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but once you've done this, you want to go ahead and save. Uh, once you, When you save, uh, or save as rather, um, you are saving the map to your computer or whatever. Um, you want to make sure that you do this so that you have a copy of the map, keep it somewhere safe as a backup. Um, but additionally, you want to make sure that you store. Storing is literally saving to the ECU. Uh, you can either go to EC controls and store or click, click control S and that'll save it to the ECU. So that means your map is already calibrated, your um, TPS is already calibrated and it's ready for your tuner. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, like I said, this isn't something I normally do. Uh, but I feel that it's necessary, especially since it's not readily available on the internet. Um, I had a lot of fun making this video. It's a quick video, a little bit shorter than what I normally make. Uh, but if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, um, favorite the video, um, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of cool MR2 content coming up uh, as I finish building this car over the winter. It's actually freezing right now as I'm sitting in my car. Um, but also, let me know what you think in a comment, whether it's on Facebook or uh, in the comment section below this video. Um, I really appreciate it and I really do take all the feedback um, to heart and I use it. Um, anyway, please subscribe, enjoy your new year. This video will probably be up on New Year's Day instead of on the 31st when I'm recording it. Um, have a happy and safe new year. Um, I hope it's prosperous for you. Uh, yeah, so. Have a good day, guys. Enjoy.